before you buy Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Five things you should know, ladies. First thing, mega versatile. Yes, this fragrance leans very much into the sexy area, but it's not cheap like you're showing too much cleavage, like you're wearing a cheap, plasticky, sugary fragrance. It does have a heavy dose of sexiness, but it's not overwhelmingly super sweet. And at the same time, it has a good freshness. And at the same time, it's long lasting. So it's perfectly versatile. Second thing you should know, most unique fragrance bottle for women. I mean, we got the Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal for men, that is unique. And the equivalent is this one. Now this is from the Spanish brand Carolina Herrera. She's a little bit like the Coco Chanel of Spain. And this is a pretty cool, very unique bottle design. Third thing you should know, performance is very good. I said it already at the start, but I do want to pinpoint it out again. The performance of this is very good. It's not sickingly sweet, meaning it has a harder time lasting long than the synthetically fueled Etul Maltol sugar bombs or the heavy oud oriental fragrances that men have. This does have a certain type of a lightness to it and then even more I respect its performance. So performance, third thing you should know is very good ladies. Fourth thing you should know, how does it smell? <laughs> smell explained the following. It has nothing that clearly stands out. If I would be now in a fragrance store smelling this one and I would have to tell you the notes without reading it, and obviously I'm a little bit experienced, I would tell you, Okay, I smell something fruity, something in the range of peach or mango. I smell some lightness through florals, but not your classic tuberose or rose florals, more of the sexy, flirty jasmine or orange blossom. And then you have some sugary sweetness and that most probably will come through some synthetic aspect like Etul Maltol, which smells like caramelized sugar. So you got a very well balanced fragrance with fruity floral sweetness. Fifth and last thing you should know, it's a compliment magnet. I have complimented women, I think at least twice when I smelled it on them but I definitely complimented them and it really is a good compliment getter for women. If you like the sort of a la vie est belle but you're bored of it because everybody wears it. If you like the Dolce Gabbana light blue intense but you want to have something with more power for the colder days, here we go. And if you just want to have a good fragrance, this is it. I give this one an eight out of 10 because it's a very good fragrance and frankly, <laughs> I don't even know what that word actually means, but I know the sense behind this words. This is one of the best gifts you can give to a woman. Every woman that unboxes this would, will, will have a fun time looking at this. In addition to that, it's not that expensive. In addition to that, it's a compliment getter, long lasting, very likable. So it's a very good fragrance. Those were five things you should know about Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. And the bad boy, by the way, is very unnecessary. The male equivalent that we also have by this brand. Thank you guys. Bye.